Now, your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, sponsored by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Overnight tonight, increasing cloudiness. Temperatures on down through the mid 70s, upper mid 70s, right around there. 76, 77, right on the edge. 74 degrees by the crack of dawn, mostly cloudy skies. Southeast wind 5 to 10. Overall, we're looking down the road for tomorrow as a hot and breezy day. 94 degrees for a valley average high. Upper valley, you'll be pushing closer to 96, 97 degrees. And again, the winds will be a blowing out of the south at 20 to 30 miles an hour, gusting to around 40 miles an hour. If your garbage can is out there, it's going to be over. Tipped over, that is, with those wind gusts. If it's empty, it'll go over. You can see the agricultural fires in Mexico and uh, Central America will continue to provide smoke which generates the haze around the valley so often this time of year. Much of that, though, with the prevailing winds will be drawn off east into the Gulf of Mexico. That's good news. But we'll still have just a little bit making way on in toward deep south Texas to call it well, slightly diminished air quality, the moderate category there. If you suffer from respiratory issues, take it easy out there. Hmm? Now, the next weather maker, that's on tap for Wednesday. This is good news in that at least we have another chance for rain. No guarantees. Let's not get crazy here. All right, I'm going to take Wednesday morning into Wednesday midday, and we've got a 30% chance for rain and rumbles. And I'm being a little aggressive with this. I kind of like the way this is shaping up in terms of just a slight chance for rain and thunderstorms. This is the tail of a bigger beast. So the tail will come on down here throughout the afternoon on Wednesday. Deliver that chance for rain and a few thunderstorms, potentially, I think more rain than anything else, and then leave behind a north breeze, which means we'll be more mild heading into Thursday. Yeah, that chance for rain, while it looks impressive with this graph, remains at 10, 30, 20 percent from about 9 a.m. through noon and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Noon to 3 o'clock is about the best time, and then by 6 o'clock, it's pretty much a done deal. The chance for strong storms, that's all north of us. We're in the just general thunderstorm category here, Storm Prediction Center, calling for the chance for severe weather from, say, uh, Kingsville on northeast through southeast Texas on in toward Louisiana. That's the focus for severe weather. For us, it's just, hmm, was that a rumble of thunder I heard? That might be about all you get out of this deal, if anything. 94 degrees. Here's a Wednesday's forecast in written form. Uh, turning mostly cloudy as the day wears on, as the front gets closer. 30% chance for rain and rumbles. That will be the best chance for rain for the forecast. By the weekend, we're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 90s. It'll be hot and breezy both days. Some folks call this comfortable, so there you go. I stuck that word in there for you. Winds gusting to run 30, 35 miles an hour. That's what I'm going to call it, gusty. And with the continued gusts over a couple of days, I think our wildfire condition risk will be up to the moderate category. Again, the biggest issues here will be dry grasses that are out there and the strong winds gusting out of the south, southeast. Uh, you don't have to avoid outdoor burning, but you might be careful. All right, seven-day forecast runs you through the only chance, the, the one shot here on Wednesday. And then as we head toward the weekend, we're back in warming up again, and we're looking at breezy to go along with it. That's a look at your storm tracker forecast.